a lot of people talk about uh, some railway examples. Well, my talk is also being a railway man, going to be peppered with some uh, railway examples. I'll try to keep it short. One, I would like to start with one example. Uh, we talked about you know citizen-based services and uh, one, a single portal for uh, one citizen to access everything. But uh, my mother, who's 91. Uh, time of the day, we all of us are hungry, or hopefully we'll, we'll be able to have a good good conversation before we head into a very nice lunch outside. So, good afternoon, all of you. So, very very nice uh, having this discussion, right? So, we have a panel that says digital transformation. I think that, especially in the post-COVID world, that's a term that everyone has been using, like abusing whatever we would want to call it. But how do we look at digital government transformation? And how do we use it? How do we use emerging technologies for better governance and effective governance? I think that's what all of us, right? So digital transformation is something that is how do you effectively leverage and drive a lot of digital transformation in in, in the sense of organization and culture and making ourselves digital. I think that that's that's how I would want to take the, the northeast region, right? So lot of the development efforts, the policy, execution, implementation, all of that is is under the, the ministry. You recently, along with Niti, brought out a, a vision document on, on the digital aspirations of the region. Can you just give all of us a view on how do you see emerging technologies helping helping the region, transforming the region, right? I think we had Mr. Anurag talk about some of them already in the morning, but I think it will be great to hear from you on, on, on that point. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister, dignitaries on the dais, and friends. Uh, as compared to uh, uh, most of the states and other, uh, you know, officials who came here before me, uh, I'm here more to listen because uh, I represent the uh, eight northeastern states along with Anurag from Assam and Yogin from Sikkim. I think we are the only three people here uh, vested uh, in uh, uh, those areas. So, uh, rather than uh, saying, talking about policy, we have uh, online platform. We have also transformed our entire uh, uh, secretariat and our subordinate offices into the e-office mode. And I was listening to one of the panelists in the earlier, uh, you know, uh, uh, sessions that they are, you know, at the secretariat level, 80 percent is being done, the directorates are being done. But I am very glad to tell you, JNK achieved this feat in 2018 when we were in the middle of COVID. We are entirely e office from right from the secretariat to the smallest uh, BDO's office on the ground. The Panchayati Raj institutions, the BRIs, also are being, you know, uh, because they were not fully functional in COVID. So now the Rural Development Department is also trying to entirely uh, put them on the EFS platform. This is to, you know, establish and envisage a very accountable and transparent process of governance and give people the ease of living and, you know, a trust. Uh, in, in governments and the functioning of the functionaries at the helm of affairs. So we in JNK are driven by the needs of the citizens. We are ensuring that uh, whatever a citizen wants, the most easy way, the most compatible way, we place it in front of him. And as rightly uh, pointed out, uh, in fact, a little less focus was given to the point that a very strong grievance mechanism needs to be built in in all uh, setups, in all e-governance setups, wherever across the country. And the grievance address mechanism has to be such that the person has to be able to have a live interface with the government. You know, when not one one side interface, when, when when you put a grievance and then you don't know what has happened to your grievance and it comes back one month after. I think the grievance mechanism has to be very uh, well thought. It has to be time tested. It has to be, to be real time. A person like, like you go to Amazon, Flipkart or any other, you know, online service, which is the private sector. So you click on the WhatsApp button, you are able to, you know, 